Do we get to watch a finger puppet show? Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be so good. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, humans and, well, humans, and you, Azadi soldier standing over there, you're welcome to watch. Just don't rattle your sabers or rustle your suits. Uh, welcome to this morning's performance of The Fingerlings. Uh, I am your host and puppeteer, Roper Clax, esteemed thespian and raconteur, author and entrepreneur. My book is available for purchase with a free personalized dedication. Speak to me after the show. A donation is both appreciated and expected. Drop your coins into the box after the show. Remember that every iron piece goes towards a good purpose. Woohoo! Go fingerlings! My beloved fingerlings, handcrafted reproductions of renowned actors from across Arcadia, immortalized in finger puppet form by skilled artisans. Using only the finest fabrics and natural materials, these lovely creatures are as dear to me as children and as talented and protean as the finest human players. You're all welcome to approach the stage after the show, of course, to admire my finely crafted miniatures up close and intimately. No food, no touching, no children. And now, beloved audience, prepare yourselves for a journey into mystery for a true story of wizardry and magic. I present to you the tale of the good-hearted wizard and the nah. villainous winch. Once upon a time in the distant north, there lived a kindly old wizard in a wonderful flying castle. This very friendly wizard liked to tease and toy with the people of the land, and sometimes he would do silly things like uh, turn them into stone or furry animals and bottle up the wind. <laughs> Naturally, he meant no harm, <laughs> and the people of the land love the wizard like they would a grandfather, a very young and very, very handsome grandfather. But one day, an evil sorceress from a distant land came to visit the kindly wizard. This ugly, selfish witch didn't understand that the wizard was only trying to make people happy. She used her dark sorcery to steal all of his possessions and trap him inside a tiny little box where the gentle wizard was barely able to breathe. The poor old man was trapped for many moons inside this box before a benevolent wandering god arrived to free him from his prison. The wizard pledged eternal allegiance to the wandering god okay. in return for vengeance against the cruel witch who trapped him. Together they... There he is, Commander. The dangerous loon who's corrupting our youth with his occult finger rings. What? what? What's this? What? What are you doing? What's going on? You can't... Hey! Hey, hands off! You're teaching children of magic, old man. You ought to know better. Release me, you dishonorable yeah. brute! By the authority vested in me by the Greater Azadi Empire and the Emissary... And in accordance with provisional imperial law prohibiting any and all teachings of occult magic, I'm taking you into custody. You can't do this! You don't know who I am! Don't you remember him? Tell it to the it magistrate, Harry wizard. Yeah. My fingerlings! My precious handcrafted fingerlings! No! I cannot believe that they arrested him. What a travesty. One of my old roommates wasn't allowed to read Harry Potter because it was about wizards and witches. <sighs> I didn't see that coming. I guess the Azadi aren't fans of creepy puppet shows either. I think it had more to do with him being a wizard. Okay, shit. So what now? He was my only lead to the Soul Stone. All I have to go on is something about a Yaga and Riverwood. 
Riverwood. I know Riverwood. I've been to Riverwood. If it's Riverwood you need, I know how to get to Riverwood. Really? And the Yaga? The Wicker Witch? I don't know anything about Yagas, but I do know something about witches in Riverwood. On my last trip there, we had a close encounter with one of them. That witch is toast, of course, but I can probably find my way back to Riverwood. It's north. We go north. Wait, which way is up? Yeah, north. Okay. Uh, okay. That's something, right? Much better than nothing. We just need a way to get north that doesn't involve me walking all the way. Or me flying. I'm not flying all that way. I tire easily. Aww. Wait. I feel a cunning plan coming on. Follow me, Zoe. Uh-oh. It's either a cunning plan, or I need the toilet. But I'm pretty sure it's a cunning plan. You're still sick and you're making me sick. I can sense it. No, I'm Feel not. it in my body. I'm not sick. I still can't believe you pulled off the voice and the whole fake hand thing. Hey, she's got her hood that up. That hat looked great on you. This is adorable. Uh, totally. So cute. Uh, oh I'm not God. so sure about the beard, though. My face is itchy. Speaking of faces, I can never show mine in Mercuria again. Not after that last bit we did. If everything goes well, you won't have to. At least we have a ride. Can I trust this thing? They're docile cows, the Elguan. Just leave it to me. Mush, Daisy! Mush! Whoa, whoa, I think you're upsetting her. I love. I'll leave the cowgirling to you. I'll fly ahead and scout the terrain instead. Don't lose sight of me! She's riding it princess style, even though she's wearing riding pants. Yeah, I don't really like that. I feel like it's... Maybe it's so big it's uncomfortable because it feels like the splits to sit like that. Because it looks so... It's so... You know how, like, a horse, you're, like, you're okay? But that looks like she's probably just uh, kind of, like, super wide. Yeah. Must be nearly a week now. It's been less than two days, and I'm beginning to regret bringing <gasps> you along. You're stuck in the cargo hold of a cloud ship with your worst They've enemy. They've been shipped. How could Literally. you possibly They're have shipped. And people say you have no sense of humor. <laughs> if there was ever a time to make peace with Liko, this is yes. likely it. Maybe there's still a chance to create a yes, bond there between is. us. There is a chance. We're on a mission. This is neither the time nor place to make peace with Liko. No, 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 no. If there was ever a time <laughs> to make one. peace with Liko, this. I'm sorry about your father. I know that may not amount to much now, but I was a different person then. I was blind to the possibility that there could be more than one truth. There's been so much death on the road to this place. I murdered an innocent man during my escape from Friar's Keep. He begged me to, but I still don't know if I did the right thing. I watched Balse Bakim bleed to death so that I could make my escape through a blood magic portal. I still wonder if his sacrifice was worth it. Have I repaid that debt? Shepard believes so. But many thought him a better man than I, so why did he have to die? This isn't an apology. I no. I tortured and murdered men. This is a confession. What did I gain from these actions? What did it change? What would have been different had I acted differently? All of these choices, Liko, they add up. My soul is heavy. The others believe me unaffected because I carry on as if nothing happened. But their faces and voices are there when I close my eyes. Those deaths never leave me. No words can undo these deeds. There are no excuses for the wrongs I've committed. But I am trying to heal the wounds I've inflicted. It's a long journey, Liko. And I know. When you arrived from Friar's Keep, I wanted you dead. Really? I couldn't tell. And people say you have no sense of humor. They do? We've been through much since then. I believe I know you. A little. You've taken up arms against your own people, risking shame, death, and your immortal soul. Because you believe they're misguided. It cannot be easy to be hated and feared by both sides. I may still despise you because you murdered my father. I may still dislike you because you're an arrogant and intolerant shit. Oh God, this is happening. But I respect you, Kian. 
And I trust He has his iPad on. Get serious! Get ah, yes! That trust goes both ways. Ah! This half of the hold is mine. Stick to your side, or I may stab you in my sleep. To Sundere! Don't worry. I have no intention of cuddling up next to oh, you. But that means, oh god, right? I know that they're saying that they definitely don't want to, but that somehow makes it more solid Kiyanu, in my mind. Oh yeah. Are you awake? Oh. An intimate moment. Oh, ah, ah. This has now changed. Did I ever tell you how my society views people like us? 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 I don't believe so. The Dole and Tiqua consider themselves tolerant, <gasps> inclusive in all matters. And yet I've always had to hide from my <gasps> friends. If they knew the truth, I'd be asked. Oh this, is, this is it. This is real, right? This is real? It seems has its limits. But in the resistance, no one cares. This thing we share doesn't change how they feel. Oh my god! Strange. Strange, but liberating. With the resistance, you are who and what you decide to be. Regardless of color and creed, gender and religion, and... I thought you loved April Ryan. He's bi, dude. I did. I do, but... Not like that. Oh. She was someone I cared deeply about and always will. I could never have shared my life with her. Oh my god. Yeah. I still miss her every day. She gave me strength. Now, nah, I'm going back to sleep. We have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. Is that a confirmation? A day of sitting in the dark, bickering about who passed gas? <laughs> like I said, a long day. Wait, I want to see him kiss though, because then that would really like that would really cement it. But it's for sure they're both they're both gay. And I think they said this thing we share between us. Yeah. But they got to kiss though, right? They need to do that. <laughs> they need to. They're gonna do that. Yeah, because the the lesbian couple kiss. So I mean, come on, right? It would be really nice to see two guys kiss in a video. Did you game. say that an intimate moment unlocked. Yeah, like, but it was like we we unlocked it, Mari. We I would like to it. see two guys kiss in a video game. Thank yeah. you. Like that, I feel like that would make my life. Well, also just like it would be a big deal. Yeah, it would be important. That's why. Yeah, that's why it would make my life. <laughs> it's like that Campbell's soup commercial. <laughs> where you like? Oh where no! The, where what? the where the one guy goes? I am your father, and then the other guy goes, No, I am your father, and they laugh because they're both the kid's dad. Oh! <laughs> it's so amazing. Spooked it. What do we do now? This place looks familiar. I think we're close. In fact, I think we're... Leave! Go! Or I'll call the others! Whoa! Hey there! I'm, I'm friendly and, and unarmed. You're human. You can't be fr... Bird? Crowbird? Hello. Hey, you're that fretful furry thing we met the first time we came through here. Ben... Franklin. Ben Bandu. This isn't the same human who accompanied you last time. This is my new human. She's mostly harmless. Say hello, Zoe. Don't be rude. <laughs> but remember that one uh, insurance co- the insurance uh, commercial. Are you talking about the one where the lesbian couple adopts the the deaf uh, the daughter? deaf girl? And I was like crying. I, I like immediately messaged you. Have you seen it? <laughs> Have you seen like, it? Yeah. And you're like, no, I'm crying. I'm crying right now. <laughs> I was like, I can't believe. I'm so happy. It's so beautiful. Like it's so like pandering to emotions, and I knew that, but I was still thinking like, oh my god, they're pandering to gay emotions though. That's so like. It's like <laughs> It's not. It's like you know that they're pandering, but it's a big deal that they're pandering. That they know? would even bother to do it in the first place. Yeah, like yeah. oh, they're pandering to you. I'm like, yeah, you know what? It feels, it feels good. good. Okay, to get pandered to. Yeah. It's like when they first started uh, marketing towards women with video games. Oh my gosh! And you're like, what's happening? 
this is weird. This is strange. I, I don't like trust this. it. Yeah. It feels so good, though. Because <laughs> you're, like, tense all the time, and then you see that, and you're like, oh, is this what it feels like to be pandered to? Yeah. This feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Keon and Liko, um, if they don't kiss, I'm going to uh, be mad because it's like in Modern Family where they have the gay couple never kiss. It's not something that like I specifically looked for. I just want them to kiss just because just because it'll be like yeah. So people can't like have an argument about it. You know so what I mean? People can't just be like, no, that's not what they're talking about. Yeah. They're talking about their friendship. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like they're definitely not. They're definitely not. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the uh, last night we were talking about the difference between implying and making it canon. Yes. <laughs> yes, and we were talking about that in the context of uh, game. Legend of Korra. Yeah, gay and, like, relationships. <laughs> Yeah, we were talking about Legend of Korra, where at the end it's, like, implied, but then the creator said, no, it's real. Nope, they're gay. And so, like, it goes between, like, oh, yeah, it can be interpreted that way to be like, yeah, yeah! (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, sorry. Hello. I guess, hello? Hello? Hello. Are you the new Bandu and Bata? Bamboo, what? No, I have no idea. I'm Zoe. You're a dreamer. Oh. So they keep saying. I'm not very good at it. How did you know? We live close to the dreaming here. Her dreams surround us. Okay. The Yaga. Oh. That's it! That's the one we're looking for, right Zoe? The Yaga! You're... you're looking for the Yaga? On purpose? Are you mad? Oh, I'm not. Her? I'm not so sure about. You know the Yaga. She lives in this forest. We do not speak her name. She's... She's mean. Hmm. Teddy, we need to find her right now. But we can't bring Furball with us. Teddy Bear probably knows more about the Yaga. Yeah. We'll save time if we ask the Ewok to show us the way to Man, the Yaga. Man, you're being, like, being really kind of rude. Yeah, it's, she's it's like, like Bamboo what? Bamboo Ewok. I'm like, um... Can, like, can't you at least try to speak its language? <laughs> like, that's actually really rude. <laughs> can you imagine if somebody introduced themselves to you and you were like, oh, your name is hard, I'm just gonna mispronounce it on purpose. Can you imagine someone came up to me and then they're like, oh yeah, you know, the... What, what's like a really weird thing to call an Asian person? Like, uh, this oriental rug. Like, that's pretty much what she just said. Yeah. Like, rude. Would you mind taking us to her? You are mad! She doesn't like visitors. She eats visitors. Okay. Sounds friendly. But we don't have a choice. She has the soul stone. The soul stone? I've heard of the soul stone. The Yaga took it from the fallen fortress of her warlock. Warlock? Roper Clax worked for the Yaga? They all did. The Gribbler, Clax, all the evil witches and warlocks of the Northlands. But they're gone now. Just like my people. April Ryan imprisoned the warlock and killed the witch. She saved us all. But then... Then the Azadi came with sharp blades and metal tubes that spewed fire. They murdered most of us. Some fled east. I'm the only one left here now. That's terrible. I'm so sorry. One day, they'll come back. All the surviving Banda. Until then, I watch over their burrows. And I sing. For them. For all of us. This soul stone. It's important? Very. You'll use it to fight the Azadi? That's part of it, yes. I'll take you to the Yaga. Or as close as I dare go to her lair, anyway. Hey, he's related Great. to that other one. Yeah, I was expecting you to say no, and by expecting, I mean hoping. Does the bird always speak like that? I'm afraid so. Lead the way, Ben. But maybe they don't know about each other because yeah. she said she's the last one. And he thinks he's the last one, so maybe. we should we should introduce them. Yeah, like uh, when when Zoe and Keon finally talk, they'd be like, "Oh yeah, and there's a band over there," and you know. Maybe that'll be one of the post-ending, like, slides where they're like, and then they reunited. The Yaga's beyond the ridge. 
Once you cross that, you're in her realm. You're not coming with? Did you not hear me when I said she was hungry? No, I'm not coming with you. The walls of that place are thin, and she can smell my magic. A wise decision, tiny man. Come on, Zoe, let's turn around and head back with Benben. -Ben. Maybe catch a fat squirrel and roast it for dinner? This is what we came here for. If we don't get the Soul Stone... Everyone dies, the world ends, no more Christmases, blah, blah, blah. I'm so sick of walking into one perilous scenario after the other. After we're done with this one, no more adventures. I swear to the Feather Gods of old. You'll know you're there when you see the Gribbler's old house. She was the witch who lived here before. The Gribbler served the Yaga, and that's where she came through from the beyond. Will you wait for us, Ben? I'll wait until nightfall. But if you're not back by then... We'll be back. And I had such a craving for Crispy Squirrel. Why is everyone saying rude shit in front of this guy? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> you ever wonder how Stacy and I always know the most random facts? It's because we read a lot. But who has time to read these days with all our, like, I don't know, stuff that we gotta do? With audiobooks, I can listen to a book and learn things while I'm cleaning the house, taking the train to school, doing menial tasks, fixing a computer. I can do all those things while also listening to a cool audiobook like The Lunar Chronicles, A Song of Ice and Fire, a biography, or maybe some sort of science book. I don't know. I don't know what you like. So if you sign up to Audible with our referral link, you get a 30-day free trial and a free book. Just download it to your smartphone or iPod Touch or whatever you use to listen to music. And then you get to listen to whatever you want and go off into fantastic worlds while you're on the bus or something. 